Hi, it's Julia with Cheapin' with Julia. I thought I'd show you my inexpensive way to create some high storage in my back of my Jeep. So what I did was I purchased $6 plastic crates at uh, Walmart. I zip tied them together. So I've got zip ties in here. Um, so they're all zip tied together, sides, and, and the bottoms and the tops too. And then I took a zip tie back here and I zip tied it to the headrest um, on both sides. And so it's, you know, it's, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and then I got some bungees to hold things in if I, you know, out on a trail or something. I haven't taken it on the trail since I've done this. So I don't know how that's going to work exactly. Well, this one came undone. But, um, so I've got all my gear in here. And this is my new recovery bag I just bought. It's actually a fishing tackle bag. Um, it's Osage River, I think it's called. I got it on Amazon for $35. It worked out great. I've got my recovery strap in there, gloves. I don't have any shackles yet, but when I do, I can put them on this side. And this bag, this will fit three straps, so I can get a toe strap, a snatch strap, which I have, and a tree saver strap as well. Um, and then there's outside pockets here. Um, I was looking for a bag, and everything was really expensive. Um, so for $35 on Amazon, I thought this one was great. It comes in different color options, too. I wanted orange, but green is my favorite color, so I opted for that. So up here I've got my ARB tire kit, um, TP because you never know when you need that on the trail, uh, tourniquet because you never know when you need that either. Um, uh, that is my big uh, medical kit that I've had for years. I bought it at a prepper store. It's got everything, even stuff I don't know how to use, but somebody might know how to use it. Um, and zip ties that I keep in here and I I can get those little tiny bungee cords and then you could bungee um, with the holes in here um, if you have taller stuff that you want to keep on the side um, this has the air hose to my compressor in it and my tire um, tire pressure gauge and this is my tool bag um, got lots of tools in there and so that's pretty much what I keep in the back of my Jeep <laughs> there is my air compressor um, and then the last thing that I keep in here is this which I never used to do either but um, I bought this container for fluids paper towels funnel um, and some trash bags I don't necessarily need to carry this stuff, these two items, all the time when I'm just, you know, at home and whatnot, because believe me, if something happened, I'd be calling AAA, um, or my husband. <laughs> but out on the trail, I want to be prepared. Um, so I will take all this stuff with me. Um, but anyways, I thought this was a great way to get some vertical back here. So that when I go to the grocery store, I've got space for groceries because I've pretty much filled up the back of my Jeep. Um, so anyways, uh, that is how I did a six times $24 um, storage solution in the back of my Jeep. So six times four is 24. Oh, okay, a couple bucks for the bungees too. So under $30, great storage solution and I'm pretty happy with it. See you later.